right, we are going to, uh, we are going to make sure we got the right stuff going on here. So the reason I'm making this is, alright good, so the reason I'm making this is I want to show you how the devil decloaks. Alright, so this here is a new Facebook account that I'm making for the Deliver Channel. I know, that's a rough picture, but whatever. It's about pushing forward, no matter how you feel, is the real prize in this thing. Fearless warrior marching forward no matter what. Rain, sleet, snow, hit me in the face with a bat, doesn't matter. I'm marching forward, and I'm doing what God wants me to do no matter what. Oh, look, see, at the top right, see the bell where it says a seven? That's God confirming it. Thank you, Lord, for that. So, I'm going to show you guys something. So, you see this video? I'm going to play it. I'm about the God in the name of Jesus. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins, those I'm aware of, those I'm unaware of, Lord, and I forgive anybody living or dead who's ever dominated or controlled me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bind you, devil. I bind you, after. I bind your works. I bind your thoughts and actions and deeds. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will no longer hinder the children of God. Get out in Jesus' name. Boom. All right. So that was the thing that I did. Now, when I was going to post it, this is the devil. This is how the devil works. He'll decloak. He will no longer hide. He won't hide. And he'll make himself known to you. Look at this. Look at what this dirty devil did. This disgusting, foul, wicked devil. Look at. See the song right here? Let me go ahead and circle that just in case you didn't see it. You see this right here? Unfortunately, listen, this is a family thing and what have you. And look at the top right again, the 70%. Listen, the devil is a jerk. He's real. And when you start fighting him and engaging him, I can't tell you how many times he does little stupid things like this. Now, I don't know what to even say. It's just like so petty. The devil's like a big kid and he's pissed. He's pissed off that you're waking up and you're waking up to your authority. You're waking up to the fact that you have more than he does. You see, you were created with more power than what the devil has. Could you believe that? the devil big thing who seems like it has all this power you have more power than that i don't want to speak out of turn but the devil's it just seems like the devil's pissed look at that oh and you got the are they flipping it off too listen people these demons and these devils and the people working through demons i don't listen to any of that music there's no reason why it should have been uh pushed toward you so these devil people these children of the devil if you notice a lot of times They'll make the the hand signal, like the, the the finger pointer up and the pinky pointer up a lot. Just by like, you know, they'll point to something, but they'll point with the devil sign, right? And they'll also point to things with their middle finger, okay? They will do that. They'll do that because it's, it's, it's who they are manifesting. It's who they are manifesting. So, these devils and these demons, a lot of time, like I said, they like to use the middle finger. They want to inadvertently uh, tell you, F you. They, they, they want to inadvertently, they'll smile at your face while doing that and like attacking you, right? But I'm going to take this opportunity to come against that spirit of the middle finger and the double finger, any hand sign or gesture in Jesus' name, or any type of uh, aggressive, offensive, uh, backhanded, uh, disrespectful message. Uh, Push forward by any electronics. I bind those demons working through electronics in Jesus Christ by the name. All those devils working through electronics to, uh, in the shadows, uh, attack men and women of God and bring shame to them or make them feel like they're being attacked. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you and I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I catch fire to all your circuitry. I catch fire to all your silicone. Father God, I ask you to make a shortage of the necessary equipment that they use to, to facilitate and manufacture their technology in Jesus' name. Father God, let only your technology, let the companies, Lord, that love you and serve you produce goods. Let the companies that don't love you and don't serve you fail. Let their companies fail. Let their companies fail. Father God, take care of your workers in those businesses. Take care of your, take care of your people who might be working in an ungodly business that's pushing forward the agenda of Satanism. Father God, get them out of that business. Get them out of that lifestyle, Father God, and destroy that business. Destroy it in Jesus' name. 
Father God, I pray that the fire from heaven comes down and just destroys all the circuitry. Father God, I pray that these messages are sent to the wrong people, like how they sent this message to me in Jesus Christ. My name, the Lord Jesus Christ, rebuke you, and I flip it around, and I say, F you, forget you, in Jesus Christ by the name. Forget you ever existed. You don't deserve to exist. The tares and the wheat had to go together for a time, but the time is over. Your gig is up, and you're out of here, devil. You got to go, and all your cohorts, and all your slimy little henchmen are going with you. You guys are all packing up in a big caravan. Father God, I pray, Lord, that you unveil the bus. Unveil the big giant bus made, the prison bus, that's taking these demons and taking these people all to hell in Jesus Christ by the name. Take them all to hell and play, Father God, in that little speaker inside the bus, Deuteronomy and Leviticus, the whole way in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Play Deuteronomy and Leviticus while you're playing that song that they love so much, the highway to hell in Jesus' name, and just play it while you take them all down there in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, Satan. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. You disgusting, foul, wicked creature. You deserve nothing. You don't deserve to exist here. Your purpose, Father God, I ask you to strip the uh, argument that this devil and demon has to exist. It argues that it should exist, that it has value, that it's helping us in some way, shape, or form. Father God, I break that power. Father God, I break the power of the devil convincing God's people that he has a purpose here. You have no purpose. You have no purpose. Your purpose is done. It is finished. You are done and toast and you are burning now. Your face is burned. Your arms are burned. Your legs are burned and you are going to hell. You are put on your own isolated prison bus like Hannibal Lecter movie. You are put in your own bus and you have extra guards around you. You cannot move. You cannot talk. Father God, I ask you to lobotomize that devil so it can't project its thoughts either. That thing is a is a high, high, high risk, manipulative, uh, triple threat demon. And I command angels of the Lord to treat that thing like it has cancer, spiritual cancer. Don't listen to it. Don't be friended. Don't be nice to it. In Jesus' name, it is our enemy. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, Father God, I ask you to subdue that devil. Put it to sleep. Father God, it wants to infect our children and our youth with fentanyl or drugs. Jesus Christ. I ask you yourself to, to make us a drug for these demons, to put them out, to, to make them addicted in Jesus' name, to make them addicted and subdue them and dull their consciousness down to where they are useless in Jesus Christ's mighty name, to where they are drooling at the mouth, to where they cannot move. They need angels to move them. They need angels to put them in special devices and move them on and off the buses in Jesus' name, but take them to hell. Take them all to hell in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. I seal this video. I seal this deliverance. I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. I mark you devil as my enemy and all your henchmen and all your people as my enemy in Jesus' name. God's enemies are my enemies. And I and I declare war on you now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I declare war on you from the third heaven, seated in Christ, shooting arrows down from the third heaven, fatally and mortally wounding you in Jesus' name. You are, you are uh, decapitated. You are dismembered and you are weak and sniveling and scraping all your little possessions up, all your little cursed objects, all your little things that you trust in. You could gather them all up, Father God, but I ask you to bind them to this witch and bind them to this devil so that they never get free from them in Jesus' name. Sorry, I just couldn't take an opportunity. I don't like missing an opportunity to come against these things. It's important. Father God, please the blood of Jesus on the video and bind all backlash. It's important. You can't give these things a half a centimeter. You see how aggressive and persistent they are? It's always going to be like that too. And they manifest through people. They manifest through electronics. They manifest through everything. They're going to manifest through your kids, through your grandma, through your uncle, through some guy on the street, through your neighbor, through everybody. When you start walking this path and, and, and walking in your power, the devil is going to use everybody around you. He's going to use your phone. He's going to use your TV. He's going to use this. He's going to use that and people, right? It's going to come to a point where it seems like it's just you fighting the devil constantly. And that's okay because you got the Lord Jesus Christ with you. He wants you to awaken to your power. He wants you to take everything back. Everything here belongs to you. You see how this devil has the power to manipulate your phone and put these insulting messages in front of you? That belongs to us. That's ours. We have control. We're supposed to have control and dominion over everything here. Everything, including that. So devil, you disgusting, foul, wicked creature, you have been caught. You stole that ability from me. I whip you with hardcore to cut your hands off, and I rewire your brain to uh, pronounce and spell your own failure, that automatic failure mechanism that you try to weave in to God's children, 
I weave it into you in Jesus' name. And I call you a failure. And I call you a failure over and over and over in your head until you hypnotize yourself into your own failure. You have the automatic failure mechanism. That's your cup. Take your judgment and drink it, you foul, wicked spirit. I pour it down your throat. It becomes you. It is a part of your body now. You are the automatic failure mechanism. You have failed. You did not succeed. And you are going to hell in Jesus' name. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. And when the thief is caught, that ability to use electronics, to use them for the good, how you want to turn them and insult God's people. I take it all back in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You have been caught. You are a thief. I whip you with hard cords and I flip it. And I and I command angels of the Lord to go and grab sevenfold everything that you took from this little petty little attacks in Jesus' name, not just for me, but for all of God's people. Collect and turn it all into the kingdom of heaven. In Jesus' name, see, there's a confirmation. Turn it all into the kingdom of heaven. Father God, to be used for the benefit of the people of God in Jesus Christ by the name. There is a turning point and it's happening right now. It's happening because God's children are waking up. We're awake to the wiles of the devil. You are a thief and you have coerced us out of our inheritance, which is everything, but we want it back and we're catching fire to your face and we are beating you into submission because you, we know that you're not going without a fight. Well, we're here to fight and we're going to fight you day and night. I'm going to fight you in my sleep. We are going to fight you in our sleep. We're going to fight you in our daytime. We're going to fight you in our waking hours. We're going to fight you when we're looking at somebody in the eye, doing our jobs, taking out the trash, whatever it is. We are constantly going to fight you, devil, until you get your filthy, stinking hands off of what belongs to us. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for the spirit of restoration to come and heal and give everything back to us, everything that the devil took from us, all of it in Jesus' name, everything. Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the truth. Thank you for the truth that when the thief is caught, they got to repay sevenfold. They must do it. Even if they got to sell their whole house, Father God, I put an eviction notice on the kingdom of hell and the kingdom of darkness. That whole house, all these tech companies that are used by the devil, I evict them. I evict them. I evict the CEOs in Jesus' name. I evict everybody. I evict them all. They don't belong there, Lord. They stole from us. They hijacked it. That was for the betterment of society in Jesus' name. It had potential to help and heal but they turned it to destroy father god and hurt and cut and maim and i break the power of it now in jesus christ my name it belongs to us we're taking it back father god i arrest these devils and i march them onto the buses and start transporting them to the prisons and dry places in jesus name until the day of judgment i just can't help it praise the lord thank you jesus but you see what they do you see that at the bottom all that we have to take it all back this is a war you can't just sit here and allow it to happen that's a thing you can't feel overwhelmed they are the ones who are overwhelmed. One person can shake a total nation. One person has the power to destroy all this. That's the crazy part. It's in, it's incredible. When you when God starts awakening you to your purpose and your power, and the devil starts decloaking, and you come against him and take all your stuff back, and he has to give it to you, and then you start walking in more power, it's incredible. So I have a vision for you. It's to wake up, to wake up and stop letting the devil take everything from me, you, our children, your neighbors, everybody is taking everything from everybody and we can't let it do it or we're all literally going to die. Sorry to break it to you. The time is now. We have to get up. We have to fight the devil and we do it with goodness. We do it with goodness and the truth. The word of God is true. We use it like a weapon and we beat the devil mercilessly until he is incapacitated and rotting in hell, the lake of fire, which was created for him to be tormented for all reality, for all time in all reality and all of existence in Jesus name. Father God, I seal this deliverance with the blood of Jesus and I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. This is how the devil operates. It's the first video you I put up. It's disgusting, right? Praise the Lord. Well, the devil wears it nicely. The devil is a disgusting, defeated foe. So I take this cloth, this defiled cloth of insult, uh, and I smack the devil in the face with it. I, I stamp, I, I, I make a picture frame of this and I nail it to the head of the demon and I nail it to the head of everybody involved and pushing this forward in Jesus Christ's name, in the spirit. I nail it to their head and I write on that picture, Jesus Christ is Lord. And I bind it to them and they will have it on them for everybody to see for all the rest of existence, for all time until the day of judgment in Jesus name. Praise you Lord. If you will it, Father God, let that be so in Jesus name. I just can't help it. And that's it.